Hi, Black Friday is coming up in just a few short weeks, so I wanted to do a video that may be helpful for some of you guys, whether you're Black Friday shopping, regular holiday shopping, or just shopping in general, because some of these tips are really good for throughout the year. <clears throat> some of these tips are really good for just throughout the year. Some of them you're probably going to think, I already knew that, and some of them might be new to you, so I'm just going to share some of my good experiences and not so good experiences. Before I start, I first want to say that none of the stores in the bad experiences have I just stopped shopping at. Black Friday definitely is, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, like a corporate holiday, I guess. It's just one of those days that, like, stores will try and get you in, get your money, and then get you out. Which, I guess, it makes sense, but... As the consumer, you also want to do your part to save yourself money, and that's the whole purpose for you for Black Friday. So I'm going to tell you of just some things that happened to me. Some of the things were just, you know, an, like one story actually is just an error. So first I want to say that for me, every year I make a list, and I just add to the list. I carried around a small notebook with me for a while. It was like one of those just little pocket notebooks that you can have in your bag or bring with you in your pocket. If you don't have one of those, you can just write a list on a piece of paper and keep it in your wallet or your pocket. And what I would do, I'm trying to see if I can come up with an example, because now I have my list on my phone and I just keep it in the notes section. So, let's see, I have Christmas list. Okay, so this is just an example of um, a list that I would have. And it's just a very short one because it's just an example. Hope you can see that because I'm using my flip cam so I can't really see what you're seeing. But basically what I would do is just write shopping list or Christmas list across the top and then start listing people like I would have mom and then under her name I would have some a list of things on another page when I used a notebook I would have another name using notes in your phone is so much easier because you can constantly move things down if you think of more things for the person above another person I hope that's making sense but anyways <clears throat> so on with my stories now one thing that happened to me, now all of these stories were from the last two years. Sorry if this video is going to be kind of long, but I want to give you guys as much information as possible. So all of the stories I'm about to tell you, both good and bad, happened the last two years, so 2010-2011. So my first one is about Express. Now every year Express gives out this little booklet and this booklet has a couple of coupons and then just a couple of little ads in it letting you know of what's coming up. Like, I think their Thanksgiving one will just say some stores are open, but throughout the month you'll get coupons that are so much money off of so much amount. So anyways, this year, actually, they're not saying anything about Black Friday. I think it said something like, a deal so great we can't share it yet or something like that. So, one year, I was going to shop there online for a boyfriend that I had had at the time, and I put a bunch of stuff either, I think I put it either in the cart or in the wish list. That's a good way of figuring out what you want. Usually I look at websites ahead of time, see how much money it is, I try to plan my money accordingly. So, I knew how much everything was. Now, if you know Express, usually in the stores, everything has like a, has like retail like retail price for it. While on the website, there's more of a sale price on a lot of things, or like a red price, not exactly clearance. So, anyways, um, I had everything in the list, and I wrote everything down to do out the math just to see how much money I would get off. I forget what the Black Friday deal was that year. I forget how much money it was off, but I did out the math just to see how much it would be. And what ended up happening was I knew I was going to go out early the next morning for Black Friday. So I just thought once it hits midnight on Thanksgiving, I will place my order and then go to sleep. Well, once it hit midnight, all of the prices shot up. 
every single one of them went to, I'm not even sure if they went to retail price or maybe even a little more. No, I don't want to make any false accusations. So I'm just going to say that it went straight back to retail price. So when I had done out the math for that and then did out the math for how much everything would have cost without the deal. Now, okay, what I mean by this is, say it was like 20% off your entire order. Well, since I already had written down how much everything was that Thanksgiving, I knew how much it was without the 20% off. Now, on Black Friday, I knew how much everything was plus that 20% off, and I would have saved probably over $100 buying all of those items on Thanksgiving or the day before Thanksgiving or basically any other time that week as opposed to Black Friday because they brought the prices back up. So it wasn't a deal at all and it was killing me because I kept seeing people on their different social networking sites saying how they were getting all of these wonderful deals and whatnot and I'm thinking no you're not like you could have saved so much more money buying on any other day this week as opposed to on Black Friday and then the next day I knew the prices were just gonna go back to the way they were so Black Friday was not there was no deal at all actually on Black Friday if anything you you would spend more money that day on Black Friday no matter what you got so um, I just remember, I just used that 20% off thing as an example. I can't remember exactly how much money off it was, but yeah, it was, it was just, I, I mean, I was just disgusted by it and I've never shopped on them for Black Friday again with them on Black Friday again. Um, I don't know what the deals are going to be this year. You know, everything changes every year, but pay very close attention to that type of stuff because I saved myself a lot of money not buying that Black Friday. And to tell you the truth, I think I had such a uh, poor taste in my mouth for Express that year that I don't even think I shopped from them at all that year. So, I mean, I don't mean like the whole year, but that holiday season. So another story is about Macy's. Now Macy's is huge on Black Friday. Macy's is huge in just November and December and I mean in general they're huge but they're really huge in November and December. I mean you're hearing all about the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that entire week and then you watch the parade or I know I do watch the parade the morning before Black Friday and then Black Friday comes along and you get to shop there. Well I had two cards that I got in the mail. One of the cards, I can't remember how much it was. Um, I wasn't going to use it though. The other card I was going to use, and it was 20% off of your order. And um, it was the right, like it hadn't expired or anything. I was using it within the right um, dates. And also, if you get the newspaper, they send out papers. Um, like just flyers and things about the deals that they're having. On the front of the Macy's paper was a 25% off coupon that you could take off the front of the paper and use on your order. I actually also saw those papers in the store. Now, my mother was in one part of the store and she was going to buy jewelry. Everything she tried to buy, they said that she couldn't use the coupon on it because it didn't work on specials. So she, luckily for some of the jewelry, she wasn't, she was, she would have bought anyways. So a couple of pieces she did buy. Then we ended up going over to the clothing section, clothing and shoes. Everything we tried to buy, we could not use either coupon on anything, nothing. And I saw it happening to other people like customers in front of us. They kept saying, sorry, you can't use this. And I saw it happening even while I was up at the counter to people next to me who were at the counter. And I asked, I was like, why can't we use these? And she said, oh, you can't use them on special deals. So I turn around and I just kind of look over the store. Every single rack and every single section said special specials, special deals, special morning deals, special afternoon deals, special deals. Everything said special deals. So we couldn't use it on anything and I said it to her. I was like, I'm seeing all kinds of customers, you know, taking out the 25% off on the flyers that you guys have here or just bringing them in and none of us are able to use them on anything. And I said to the girl, I was like, look over the store. Everything says special deal on it. 
there wasn't one thing that did not say special deal. And all she said was, you know, that they don't make the rules and she's just an employee, which I understand. But that really bothered me. So we didn't get anything that we wouldn't have gotten without, you know, like that you wouldn't get with whether you had the coupon or not. So be very careful about that. If there's something you want to get, and you know if you didn't have that coupon, you wouldn't get that item, ask them before you go up to the register. Because some of these stores realize that when you go up to the register with a bunch of things, with a bunch of things number one, it's embarrassing to put things back. Number two, you don't want to put things back, you've been shopping all day, you're so tired, you're not even really paying attention, and you just want to hurry up and get out of the store, so you're just going to buy it anyways. Be a smart shopper and don't let that happen to you. Don't let these companies screw you over. So the other thing that happened to me, now, I bought jewelry for a lot of people. I bought jewelry for a friend last year, I bought jewelry for my mother the year before, um, I think I got something for my sister the year before that. I mean, I've, I mean, and other people as well. Like, I've bought jewelry quite a bit on the holidays. So, I was looking for a piece of costume jewelry. And I looked in all, ki all kinds of stores, all, like, so many stores in the mall. And I couldn't find anything um, that I was looking for. Finally, I go into Sears. Now, in Sears at their jewelry counter, it was so busy that they had a list that you had to sign. So you had to sign on like a waiting list and we, we must have waited there for 30 minutes and I saw a girl come after me, sign the list and then the girl tried to take that girl before me. So I went over when she was in the middle of talking to her and I said, I was like, excuse me, I was, I signed the list before her. And so she looked at the list and she said, what's your name? And then she took me instead because I was before her on the list. You have to be assertive like that sometimes. I had been shopping all morning, like for hours, and I was plus waiting there in line for like a half hour. I was just ready to get it all over with. So the item that I wanted was in a box. And when you get a necklace, oftentimes it's on um, a little cardboard piece that shows off like you would have it on a cardboard piece like this that just kind of shows it off. So you can see the chain, but you can also see whatever medallion's on it, like a heart or something. And it was behind, it was enclosed behind a locked case. So I said, yeah, that's perfect. She showed it to me. I looked at it. I was like, yeah, this is perfect. I want this. And I paid for it. And I think all of the jewelry was 30% off. So we left. When I got home, I took the necklace out just to make sure that, it's, I mean, something I should have done in the store, but I was just ready to get out, just to make sure that it, the necklace like wasn't broken. So um, if it was, I just would have taken it back a couple of weeks later when I found myself back at the mall. So that wasn't really a big deal. But I took the, I took the necklace out, and it said a completely different price on the necklace than it did on the box. She charged me the price on the box. The necklace had like a little hang tag on it that you couldn't see because it was behind that cardboard piece. So I called them up and let them know about the issue and they wanted me to go in that day and I'm like, I can't come back today. I was like, I'll be able to be there in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks I go back and they looked up the item and she actually told me that the item was a lot more than what it said on the tag. I don't even think she realized what I meant. I don't know how hard it is to understand that they charged me the price on the box. When I took the necklace out of the box, I saw that there was another price hanging from the necklace itself. I don't know how she didn't understand that, but I don't think she did. She just kind of looked up the necklace and she tried to tell me that it was like a necklace that was like hundreds of dollars, and it wasn't. So um, I did end up getting a deal on it though, because when I came home, I looked it up online, that necklace was not hundreds of dollars, so I don't know where she was getting that from. It wasn't anywhere near that, um, but I still got a deal on it, so I was pretty happy. I still got about like 25 or 30 percent off. So those are my um, horror stories. That, actually, that last story was in Sears, I'm not sure if I said that. So those were like my not so good stories about... Black Friday. I've never really come across like crazy lines or anything like that. Like sometimes it is really busy. Um, one of the things that I like is that Old Navy, last year I completely missed out. I guess they were giving away cameras and I did not see that or know that at all. If I did, I would have been first in line. 
but I love that they do that. Also, I went into Charlotte Russe, and I didn't really have to go Christmas shopping in there. Now, I'm not the type to shop for myself on Black Friday or when I'm Christmas shopping at all. They say most people do. I think it was like something like 65% of people will buy something for themselves when they go holiday shopping. I usually don't do that. But I needed a belt to go with a dress that I wanted to wear, so I just went into Charlotte Russe real quick and got this belt. I didn't know that I was getting so much money off on it. I ended up getting it for only a couple of bucks. I forget how much it was. I think it was like $10 or something, and I got it for like almost half of that. I mean, I was so excited when I got up there. I'm like, wow, finally a great deal after, you know, having gone through like, I forget which thing. I think it was like the, um, the Macy's thing. I was like, I haven't gone through that. Like, this was great. And they also had this basket that one of the employees was walking around with that all of the customers could, um, all of the customers could, like, put their hand in and take out a ticket. And my ticket was, I think it was, like, a free pair of underwear or something with when you spend, like, 20 or $25. I didn't really have to get anything, so I ended up not using it. My mom was with me. I forget what she got. I'm trying to think. I don't... I don't remember what her ticket was, but I still thought that was pretty neat that they did that. Um, also, we have a store in New England. It's a sports store called Roster, and I know they have it in, I'm pretty sure they have it in Philadelphia, and I think it's opening in one or two other places, but it's a really cool store, especially if you're a huge sports fan that's a woman. I know it was really hard to find things that actually, like, fit me or was a little more fitted because any t-shirt I found, I had to go, like, sports t-shirts. You have to go in either the little kids section or the guys section, which is usually too big or frumpy, you know. They have really cool stuff for females, and it is actually in your team colors. Um, so I think they were giving away, like, $10 off of a purchase or something, and I thought that was pretty neat. Also, um... Target is awesome on Black Friday. Now in Target, they put up um, these little temporary display shelves that are cardboard and they usually have like snowflakes on them. I think they're usually green. Also, they have um, big like bins that are that match those temporary shelves um, that have tons of sales in them. Now the shelves usually have lots of DVDs that are of a really good price, all kinds of DVDs, I mean, more recent movies, older movies, holiday movies, non-holiday movies, like everything. Um, also, in those bins, they have, like, fleece pajama sets for, like, ten bucks, or gloves and hats for, like, a dollar or three dollars or something, and, um... They have pajamas for little kids, those little, like, um, those little pajamas that come with an extra pair of pajamas for, like, your doll or your teddy bear. That's really cool. I ended up getting a Wii there one year, and what happened was they were giving away gift cards as well. So I think the Wii was like $180 that year, and when you spent, I think it was you got $10, I want to say you get $10 for every 50 you spent, or it was $5. I'm pretty sure it was $10 for every 50 you spent, you got a $10 gift card. So for the Wii, we got like a $15 gift card, and since we were still shopping, we just used the gift card. So technically, I got the Wii for like, I think, what, like $165. So it was pretty sweet. Um, I love Target on Black Friday. I'm trying to think of who else. There's already different ads. Oh, Best Buy. Best Buy is always great on Black Friday, but you have to get in line, and I know people get upset about, um, you know, them only having three of the televisions that are like $100. Sephora. I didn't un I didn't realize Sephora was doing anything for Black Friday. I feel like they don't really have many sales. I know that you can get like the VIB right now. There's like 20% off or something for VIB VIBs. And last year you got like $20 off of 50 if you were a VIB. And if you were just um, a regular beauty insider, I think you got like a $15 gift card. And yeah, so like they do things like that. But it's pretty rare. Not often you walk around the store and you see something on sale. So I ended up going into this four store, and this was last year, and there was a big table and it said 10 items for $10. And I'm thinking, holy crap, like I can get one of each of these things and only spend $10. And then I'm like, no, wait a minute. I know Sephora better than that. So yeah, no, that's not how it went. It was just those 10 items were $10 each. 
So, uh, yeah, that was a little confusing, but I did end up getting um, the eyeshadow, the little eyeshadow palette. What, what is it? Toki Doki? Is that how it said? Um, the little eyeshadow palette that I used in my last minute Halloween look. So at that for ten dollars, they actually had I think like six different ones, and that one was my favorite, so I got that one. And what else do they have? I think they had like traveling brush sets. They had something from is it Stila or Stila? See, I never know how to say it because I hear people say these things different ways. So um, they had one set. I know a lot of most people say it's Stila, but yeah, they had one of those sets um, that they had like the little palettes that they have. And I'm trying to think of what else. I can't remember what else they had. Uh, but there was a lot of really cool things. It's funny because I came home and I'm looking at their Facebook page and I see all these people complaining that they sold out of all of those things, I guess, in, within minutes online. And I'm thinking, I just went to the mall and they had almost everything still left. But yeah, that was pretty sweet. I really liked that deal. I'm glad I got in on that. So um, yeah, so... Basically what I've learned over the years is to always have a list of the things that you want to get. That way you go in there with a plan and know how much money you want to spend. Check your bank account. Check your wallet. If you have a set amount that you want to spend and you're actually holding your cash, leave some of your cash at home. So that way you're not tempted to spend it. Maybe add a couple of extra dollars. That's something I try to do too. I rarely carry cash. But I always try to keep in my head like a couple of extra dollars for those items you might just happen to find that somebody will love. You never know when that's going to happen. So you want to leave a little bit of leeway for that. But for the most part, a list is extremely helpful. Always look up coupons online. If you're going to shop online, always Google for coupon codes. Also, um, there is an app. It's a Black Friday app. I got it 2011, so it says 2011. And it's um, from bradsdeals.com. So mine just says Black Friday 2011, but I'm sure they have another one. And it looks like this. And this is really, really, really helpful. I'm going to see if they have the Express Black Friday thing. That's the holiday preview. Where's their Black Friday? See, preview our biggest day ever. And that's all it says for the Black Friday, but you can see all of the little things in there that Express is going to have for their booklet this year. They already have a lot of Black Friday ads up here. There's Best Buy, Bath and Body Works, Aeropostal, Ace, Walmart, Kmart, um, Build-A-Bear, Dow, Disney Store, Family Dollar, Fred's. Um, there's all kinds of ads already up, Lowe's, Models, Old Navy, there's so many of them that have their ads coming out now because it is an early Thanksgiving this year. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I forget. Always print out coupons, look up coupons. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not, and the money you save, even if it's just a dollar, is so worth it. Um, places like Michael's have apps, and you can, you don't even have to print it out. You can get the Michael's app, go into the store, Show them your phone and because they in, on their app they have coupons. Show them the coupon on your phone and they will honor it. Another thing that's cool about Michaels is they honor AC More coupons, so that's another cool thing. Um, so pay attention if people price match their competition. Those are uh, another great deal that way. Um, trying to think what else. Always look for free shipping. There's all kinds of free shipping. Pay attention to what you want to get. Look on that list that I was saying to make. Look on the list for the particular items that you want to get people ahead of time so you can see what the deals look like then. Look at their flyers, see if there's going to be a better deal or not. Um, and don't feel compelled to get something on Black Friday just because it's Black Friday. Chances are really good that after Black Friday there's still going to be sales. You're probably going to be able to get something cheaper or for just as good a price. Um, another thing is always check your junk mail. I have a special email specifically for junk mail and like, you know, just when you sign up for stores and everything goes in there for like sales from different stores and things. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. What was it? I can't think of it and I thought of it and now I've lost it. What was it? Oh my God, what did I want to talk to you guys about? 
I mentioned the coupons. There was something that came to my head and I'm like, I have to say it, but I was in the middle of talking and now I've forgotten. Um, what is it? I can't remember, but if I remember, maybe I'll write it down at the end. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, a great Black Friday, and that you get tons and tons of deals. I will see you soon. Bye.